it has been another long day. But now me and Trixie, who is my only partner who has stuck with me through and through this empire, uh, this empire project, <laughs> we're gonna roll out of here. And now we're gonna do it in reverse. We're gonna reverse ourselves out of here. Trixie, you ready? Let's just reverse ourselves right out of here. Come on, follow daddy. Come on, Trixie, follow daddy. We're gonna go back. Trixie just does not understand the video making. She doesn't get the concept of put your phone down, record yourself, then run back and grab your phone, and then put your phone down, record yourself, and run back and grab your phone. She doesn't get that at all. I don't think Trixie will ever become a video creator. No, there's no way you're ever gonna make it big in videos, Trixie. There's no way she'll ever make it big in videos. Not that one right there. Nope, she has no idea how it all has to work. <laughs> Look out, Trixie Daddy going back. See y'all in the next video. Morning folks, Lester here. And uh, today's an exciting day for us. Um, I had my brother, uh, we call him Uncle Dan, come by and give me the thumbs up on my driveway construction project. But the, we're, there is one thing we have to do before we can pour concrete, and he suggested that we put some metal, some maybe some rebar or something, where we're gonna have that concrete to help hold that concrete cement in place. And so we have to go this morning and get that. I told, uh, I told the concrete company we're gonna have to hold off a day, and then I had to call in some reinforcement. I know nothing about foundation, rebar, cement work and so i will have help here when that cement truck comes tomorrow so as of today i've invited jamie to go with me to pick up those supplies and uh, i'm inviting you guys to come with me also it'll be a fun trip let's do it together and uh, everything is funner when you do it together you already know the way i am funner and gooder so y'all come on meeting you here. <laughs> One of our favorite part of coming to town. Date day. You All right. first? I don't have my glasses, so I may need help here. All right. How about another four? Oh, wrong oh. side, weirdo. Wrong side. When angry, count ten before you speak. If you're very angry, count to a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> in the bed, under the sheets. If you're angry, count to 10. In the bed, under the sheets. Very angry, count to 100. <laughs> Humor usually works at the moment of awkwardness. In the bed, under the sheets. <laughs> I told her everything has already been screwed in and she's still scared to go across it. If you're scared to walk across it, how are you gonna drive across it? I'm not gonna walk across it. I'm gonna park my car with the 
<laughs> no, you're not. Walk. It's already screwed in. Go. <laughs> They're not going to move. Jump. I don't want to jump. Jump. They're not going to move. I told you. <laughs> so we got Paul over here doing the pond. He's putting the pond back together. Me and Jamie just got back from our trip. Thank you. We went and got the rebar. And uh, I'm going to leave my trailer parked over here. Now, listen to me. I don't know how to do rebar. I don't have the tools to cut it. But uh, I will say that the guy who's going to come tomorrow, he's going to do all the rebar. He'll also help do the cement. And he's going to bring that same tool that you cut rebar with and cut that piece of um, metal sheeting out from the, the back side of that thing I was showing you. You know what I'm talking about. So it's coming along. Uh, it's not even near time to eat yet. Hey everyone, oh, hi buddy. Everyone comes out thinking we're gonna get an early snack and it is not time to eat. You'll have to wait till time. You wanna hold my drink, sweetie? You gonna hold my drink for me? Don't let it spill, it's my Dr. Pepper. Look how smart my girl is to hold my drink. Oh, I don't know if I should trust you or not, sweet girl. I don't know if I should hold you. I don't know if I should trust you to hold my drink. That's a Dr. Pepper. She's carrying very valuable cargo here, guys. This is very valuable cargo. Ivy, your baby, you're carrying very valuable cargo. That's my Dr. Pepper, sweetie. <laughs> All right, I'll take it off. You want to try it, Bucky and Voodoo? Y'all want to try to carry Daddy's cargo? My Dr. Pepper. Oh, but why did you do that, sweetie? Voodoo wants to try it. Why did you push me? Look at Voodoo carrying Daddy's Dr. Pepper. He can do it. Sweetie, Daddy's Dr. Pepper is over here, sweetie. You want to try it now, Bucky's? Bucky's want to carry Let Bucky's carry my Dr. Pepper. Fine. You want to carry it? You want to carry it or not? Who's going to carry my Dr. Pepper? Bucky's want to do it? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ivy, Bucky's wants to do the Dr. Pepper challenge. Bucky's, it's okay. Ivy, don't you do it. There. Oh, boy. Oh, my goodness. That's that's a very good job. But voodoo, voodoo. Voodoo. Why did you do that? So, today's interesting. I drove down on the full wheeler to bring the uh, cow's food. They're here by the gate, by the road. And every dog, every single one of them followed me. I don't know why they felt like getting out for a run today. And I got every last one of them here with me. Look out, Trixie. Baby, you gotta be careful down here. Keep your head on the swivel. Sweetie, look out. Oh my goodness, she's like in no man's land right there. Not finished yet. But check that out. You know what I could do? You know what I could do? Y'all are not going to believe me. I could drive my full wheel right over this thing. You know what? I'm going to do it. You know what? I'm going to do it. <sighs> I'm going to drive my full wheel right over the top of this and impress the heck out of all of you. I'm going to do it. I am.
So obviously you can see all the timbers been put down. Everything's been screwed in. Everything is all looking good. The boards, the uh, eight by eights are all mounted down. Uh, I went earlier. We got all the rebar. Jamie and I went to town, got the rebar. Now there'll be a guy coming tomorrow. You've met him before. He can do concrete work and he will put the, he'll lay dual. He'll do the rebar uh here under here under under and down below uh and he will tie it all the way it needs to be tied and then we'll have a cement truck show up around 10 o'clock or so and he will help spread the cement my friends uh i will probably paint the boards hey look out <clears throat> i don't want her to get cut up she's so clueless half the time um so then we got to put the uh, two by 12s across the top the cattle guard style this way it'll all match up pretty i'll paint it the same color as the fencing and then we'll take the tractor and i'll smooth all this dirt out make it where there's no hump it's a real smooth finish right there and guess what we'll be done so those long they're like 12 inch screws are what we used to get the post to stay and we're hoping this will prevent bounce in the driveway like uncle dan said if you have any kind of bounce or give you're going to have eventual issues with your concrete breaking and so by screwing all of these down solid we're hoping that that will prevent that uh, using five on each side will make it to where all of your weight will be supported no matter how wide or how narrow your axles are in your vehicle. And remember, guys, there's going to be two by 12s going across. So you're not going to, you know, run a tire off. This is, they're not going to stay like this. There'll be two by 12s going across it. So... All right, what I have to do now is create some kind of a fence so that animals can't continue to walk down this fence line and start trying to come across here because, in fact, we will have cement here, but there will be a void right there that will stay there. And we don't want animals coming across here and walking across that or falling in there, obviously. So we're going to put up some kind of a fence to prevent them from doing that. Charlene has this horrible game that she plays where she gets stuck behind the fence on this pat side. And she's just done it again. So all of the Longhorns are upset with Charlene. She'll find her way back across. Anyway, let me turn this camera around. All right, so every 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 step presents a new problem so what i'm trying to do is stay congruent symmetrical with the driveway and in saying so this bulkhead is centered with my culvert right my cattle guard but i have to put up fencing so the animals can't come through this is my driveway post and so if I put a post over there where I've just set it in the ground, it actually doesn't line up or match up with the bulkhead. So in reality, animals could walk around the back side of it if they chose to. Now, I know my cows and the horses would never do that. Goats probably would, but we don't have goats in this pasture. I don't suspect the birds will. So... You have to have a post so you can connect your boards, right, to make your fence. But if I was to have put my post here, then there's nothing to attach it to over there. I would have had to have gone and set a brand new post here. And you can't have two different posts that far apart because that would create the eyesore. Over here, it was easy. Let me walk over. Y'all, hold on. <sighs> Over here, it was easier because here's the end of the bulkhead. Here's a post. So you'll run a board from this post to that post and block entire access off to here. Over there, I could not do it. 
what I almost did, and I changed my mind, was put a post right here. I could have done it from here to there. Easy enough, very small fence. But my problem with that is animals might would have come around this corner. And if you got one of the animals pinned in the corner, sometimes they panic. And you never want your animals to become pinned. A cow getting pinned into this corner or a horse or a bird could end up making them end up falling or jumping over the edge. And you would definitely not want that. So I erred on the side of caution and I moved it further back. However, now my whole thing about symmetry, you know, congruency, everything centered, squared, you know, my whole spatial reasoning is all going to be out of whack. But sometimes there's no way around that. Sometimes there's just absolutely no way around that. This is going to be one of those times. All I can do is hope that people coming up or down the driveway will be so fixated on this cool, badass cattle guard that they'll never have time to look over on this side of the fence and realize that there's something out of whack over here. I will. I will never be able to fo focus on the driveway because I'll always be watching here. I will forever be watching over here. <laughs> but that's my sickness. Don't let that become yours, okay? Do not let my sickness, my illness become yours, please. Let your troubles fester, come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.